Alright guys, welcome back to your 50th C++ tutorial, and I know in the last tutorial I told you guys I was going to be building a program using the this keyword, but I was building it, and I noticed that there was a lot of concepts I didn't teach you guys, so we're going to have to come back to that after I taught you guys um, a couple new concepts. So we'll get back to that, but for now I want to talk to you guys about something called Operator Overloading. Now Operator Overloading is a weird feature with C++. What operator overloading is, is it allows you to use C++ operators like, you know, plus and multiply, and it allows you to take these operators and change the way that they're used. So, for example, maybe you have a class and you, you want to add two objects together. Well, how the heck does C++ know how to add your two custom objects together? Well, that way you can use operator overloading to specify what you want this operator to do. So what I did already is I made a new class called Sally, and I also included the Sally header in here, and I included IOStream and namespace in here. So now my .cpp files look the same just to save this tutorial some time. So now let's go ahead and get into the coding. So let's go ahead in the he Sally header file and notice that I took out both private and protected because um, we're just going to make everything in public. It's going to make everything a whole lot easier. So the Sally class is going to have a couple things in it. The first thing it's going to have is a variable called num. And this is the only variable it's going to have. Um, it just needs a variable. Pretend this is like Sally's age or something. I just named it num because it's easier to work with. Now let's go ahead and create two constructors. The first constructor is pretty much just going to be empty constructor. We're going to be building a Sally object and whenever we don't pass any parameters to it, it's just going to create a blank Sally object. And we're also going to be creating another constructor and whenever we create a Sally object and we pass an integer into it, what I want to do is, well let me go ahead, I guess I can code this right now. Whenever we create a Sally object and we pass an integer into it called like integer A or something, what this is going to do is, I like it right up there. What this is going to do is take that num property and set it equal to A. So we're going to create Sally objects in two ways. A blank Sally object or a Sally object that already has a number. Simple enough. So now let's get to the last thing in the Sally class, and that is, you know, what I've been talking to you guys about, this thing called operator overloading. Now again, like I said, operator overloading allows you to use C++ operators in a special way inside your classes. So in order to use an overloaded operator, you need to make a function and you need to give it a special name. So whenever you build a function in C++, you need to first give it a return type. Now this function is actually going to return a Sally object. So go ahead and type a Sally right there. And now you have to name your function. And you have to name it this. Whenever you're using an overloaded operator, you have to start it with the name operator. And then right after it, you write what operator do you want to overload and this can be multiply divide um, but we're going to be overloading the addition operator and what this is going to do is take two of these number properties and add them together so let's go ahead and write operator plus this is the name of our function now and this is also going to take a parameter what this function is going to do is it's going to take um, one Sally object's number and add another Sally object's number to it. So we're going to need to pass it in another Sally object to add to it. So let's go ahead and call it like um, Sally. Well, all we have to put is that Sally. So now let's go ahead and build the function itself. So let's go hop over to Sally.cpp and let me make sure I didn't forget any semicolon. Looks good. So now let's go ahead over to Sally.cpp and start building this function. Again, the very first thing you write is the return type. This is like void int. Well, we're returning a Sally object, so go ahead and write Sally right there. And now we have to go ahead and write what class are we working with? Sally. What's the name of our function? And remember that's operator plus since we're overloading the plus sign and what parameter does it takes well it takes a sally parameter and just name this variable like aso for another sally object so now what we want to do is this we're going to be returning a brand new 
Sally object. So let's go ahead and make a new Sally object right now. Sally and name this object brand new. Simple enough. So now let's go ahead and uh, add the number property to this brand new object because we created a brand new object but it doesn't have anything for its number property right here. So let's go ahead and put brand new dot num and what do we want to set this equal to? Well what we want to set equal to is the current objects number value plus another Sally objects number value.